said, he, <laughs> he said, you're not lifted. And, I was, and, only, and, and it kind of hurt your feelings. But I had a, um, a reputation for, for not being very bright. And if you had that type of... Now, how did, that, that, how did you get that reputation? Well, well, it started, I think Rocky Blyer didn't help it any, because Rocky went to Notre Dame. He was a little bitty tiny. Great running back. Little, well, he wasn't great. He was just a little bitty... <laughs> A little bit of tiny, thick side thing from Notre Dame. <laughs> thick side thing. Thick side thing. As it's tough to say, as Miss Collins, Green Queen. It's and they went, to, they, went, they went to him after, after a preseason game, a rookie year, or, and said, well, how is this rookie from Louisiana Tech, this big hillbilly? And he said, well, he, he, he stutters and stammers a lot in the huddle, and he threw up on us tonight. <laughs> and I never, that's a lie. Is that I true? Never, I never, what is the story? I was a story like you, that. You always stutter and stammer enough. Okay. When you're going to walk up to a line of scrimmage with six foot nine, 290 pound people, you, you are going to you have stutter. To. Part of the job. Of course you are. And but where did the story come from about you erping up lunch in the huddle? Well, that was Rocky. Rocky went in there and created. He wasn't getting any pub or no ink, and he decided he'd be the one to go out, and he'd start all this stuff. So he said that I wasn't very smart, and that I got nervous, and that I changed plays in the huddle. And I'm going to tell you, folks, I'm going to tell you something right now. I called my own plays. Montana didn't call his That's own right. plays, Dave. I called my own you plays, Terry. I called your own plays. Call plays. So I, I mean, I, and, and, they, and, and they say that the, the key to a great quarterback is his ability to read coverages. Exactly. And I have yet to figure out what that means. Because <laughs> if you walk up to the line of scrimmage, which I'm sure you've never done. Oh, but sure. There was a time when I walked right yeah, up to that I'm line. Sure. And you get down under a center who's 5'11", and his butt's only six inches off I, the ground. I don't want to hear and about that. And if you get down right here, and you're riding him like a jockey, you see nothing but butt and eyeballs right here. Uh. You, don't see, you don't see anything else. And so... <laughs> so that boy, I, I think, thank you, thank you very much, <laughs> thank Terry. you, thank you so much, Terry. this is better than the monologue, have, have, <laughs> <It's better. laughs> that ain't saying much, Terry, no. that's, not, that's no Super Bowl <laughs> ring there. Uh, yeah, but now, was, uh, what other quarterbacks have won four uh, Super Bowls, any? Montana. Montana, anybody that's else? It. No. So that's it. two. My God, that's a rarefied company. It is. Yeah. Well, I'm on your side. You know, I'm Are a you big serious? Oh, yeah, I like you. you. Really, I think the world you really of you. Like I think you do a good job on that TV show. Just a good job. Yeah, do you miss CBS at all? Do you miss being here on Sundays? I, uh... <laughs> You know, it's a pretty good place, Fox. There's some nice folks out there. Yeah. What do they do at 11.30 over there at Fox? At, at what, 11.30 <laughs> at night? Yeah. Oh, I think we got room. <laughs> we, we have to do a commercial. We'll be back here with Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw's here. Marielle Hemingway and uh, Tracy Bird. Was there some talk at one time about you doing a television show? Did you? Jennifer oh, Lynn no, Forward is proud to represent Renovo, Pennsylvania's annual Flaming Foliage Festival. She's 18, currently a freshman in college who loves to watch the changing of the seasons while she eats steak. Please welcome Jennifer Lynn Forward, Miss Flaming Foliage 95. You know, not one of these women, not one of these women, not one of these pageant winners has looked at me. <laughs> and you know that they've all just yeah, flat out understand. ignored I me. I can understand oh, that. Oh, you can understand You're that. ugly. <laughs> well, now, they're you not know, looking at me I either. don't feel so badly now, Terry. Oh, yeah. uh, let's talk about you. Now, you were going to do a TV show. What happened there? Did you well, do one? You, I can't act. Yeah. That's pretty well. What was the show going to be? Well, it was a pretty stretching role for me. It was about an ex-football player turned to commentator uh -huh. for the booth. Yeah. And <clears throat> they came to me uh, it said for ABC, and uh, we got it all down and rehearsed and everything. And I'll tell you what, it, it bombed. Uh -huh. And uh, flat, flat can't act. That's just the bottom line. <laughs> flat you don't seem to be... I couldn't even be myself. I, that is pitiful. <laughs> when you can't even be your own self. Yeah, but... I mean, even the critics panicked before I even did it, saying, what a stretch. Yeah. You know, like, you could really do it. <laughs> Dave, I couldn't do it. I, I flat couldn't do it. Well, you probably just didn't have the energy to no, be yourself. No, I don't yourself. have the no. talent. You got, <laughs> the energy I got, talent, I, I don't have the talent. You used to do a lot of, uh, or maybe you still do, uh, commercials and that kind of stuff. I remember you had a, you had a thing, yeah. you had a, what was it? Uh, had, a had, a had here. Yeah, here in the Sports Illustrated. Thing this was uh, back in 1978. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah, that's... There's a handsome young guy right there. Was this after your playing days, Terry? No, I was while I was playing. That's my... That's right. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like... Uh, hey! Okay. Hey! 
That's uh, Richie Cunningham on Happy Days. <laughs> that's the before, in case y'all didn't notice right there. And then that's the, I actually look better before than I have. Now, this is a full uh, hair piece. Is that what that's? No, is? just the part, the, this part that you probably, this part right here. The, the, the uh, bald part. The bar bald yeah. part. <laughs> But uh, that thing was, uh, actually, I did that. People said, why don't you do that? I said, well, I, I've actually made more money with that hair piece than I did is that playing right? football at the time. Uh -huh. which so, was, I think it was about $30,000. So that is a, an interesting commentary on what Thank professional you. players were being paid then. 30000 David, yeah. I retired in 1984, making 300000 And uh, after winning four Super Bowls, and it was on my second, and been the MVP in the league and in two Super Bowls and met with the Roonies and they looked me square in the eyes and said, you're not worth a half a million dollars yeah. to us. Now, what do you think and now? And then Dion got, what, 30 million yeah. the other day? It's strange, isn't it? Yeah. It's all out of whack. It's it completely is. out of whack. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys are tough. Yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, so what do you do with your rings? Where do you, do you ever, for the fun of it, wear all four at once? First ring I gave to my, no, I've never done that. First ring I gave to my dad after we won the second Super yeah, Bowl. Gave Super nice. Bowl 9 to my dad, gave Super Bowl uh, 10 to my oldest brother, Gary, gave Super Bowl 13 to my youngest brother, Craig, and then gave uh, Super Bowl 14 to myself. It's That's in very a, nice. It's in a jewelry yeah. box. It's an amazing accomplishment. Yeah. looking we are there a couple of good looking guys just regular guys right yeah. there make a fine pair don't we actually you and i ought to do some double dating what do you think <laughs> would you and i drive the chicks nuts or what uh, i don't i don't know i, I, I don't oh, know well, no, my no, wife no, you know you, 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 you can bring your wife that's not a problem huh? you can bring uh, your wife. <laughs> she's a big old gal i don't know if we could get now, her in the truck terry. <laughs> now terry terry oh, god hey one smooth well. talking son of a bitch ain't he <laughs> Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. You light the place up. You know what I mean? You bring energy and excitement well, to the uh, Next time I come on, if I ever get to come back You're again. You're coming back. What do you mean? I, you know, I probably would like to come on and sing. Yeah? All right. Uh, 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 I, I, that's I, another pass. I can't. I Terry can't. Bradshaw, ladies and gentlemen. Don't talk. It's Miss Snake Charmer, Joanna Cornett. And joining Joanna, 19-year-old Mandy Gutter, 1995's Miss Black Eyed Pea. A nice round of applause for these and all our pageant winners. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.